Uh, my name is, what is my name? My name is Lenore von Stein, and this is uh, an episode of The Facts. I'm sitting with Andrew Bolotowski, Bern Nix, Don Manassi, and Beth Griffith. And this is uh, 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 an episode that we're, we're going to rehearse some of the ideas and talk about some of the ideas for the episode we're going to tape right after this. Uh, and and the, these episodes are about, uh, the, it, it's, a, it's a main character, and they're called Gretel's Love. And it's about uh, Gretel. It's, it's, it's the story. The story is it, it's, it's, it's about Gretel, you know, Gretel from Hansel and Gretel. And now, but now she's an adult. She's a survivor. She's got post-traumatic stress. And... As always, in my character, she's looking for love. So um, she's um, she's she she. Uh, well, let's let's try let's try one of these criteria. We're going to try one of the tunes that we're going to play um, in the piece. Criteria. Let's try criteria, Would ladies you and like gentlemen. A uh, yeah. Could you play the cue? So what we do is we move. We, we try to move seamlessly uh, from um, from talk to. To improvisation, improvise, improvise, blah, improvise bridges to the piece itself, and so, and so there's a cue that one of the musicians has is going to give, and it changes depending on the tune, who gives it, and what the cue is, of course. Um, so, Sometimes. yes, let's hit it. I made a mess because uh, I, I had the wrong piece of paper here. This, uh, and I'm the one I said, I, I, yeah. So it's it's okay. Well, it, you know, no, but I mean, I, I, I set up the wrong piece of paper, which is why I'm so big on setting up the papers, but I just set up the wrong piece there. Well, I'll tell you, it all worked out in the end. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> so this Gretel, and, 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 I chose this this character. I don't know. It just sort of came to me. I was working on some other stuff, but I think that it, because Gretel is seen in such a relatively Pollyannish way, and um, I, I I'm interested in the I'm interested in the metaphors underneath the, uh, the the cutesy cover. You know what 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 it's like to be human, and it's just not that everything is okie dokie because. Um, um, that hasn't been my experience in life, and I, and I've always uh, I spent a lot of time escaping to the world of okie dokie, uh, but it's not okie dokie either. Uh, so, so that's the Gretel. The Gretel is about is about reality as opposed to a Hollywood movie or a fashion statement or something. Uh, you know, because why wouldn't somebody who'd been through this terrible gingerbread experience be a little bit, you know, hepa? And um, she's she's living with this very lecherous guy, and um, and uh, she's she, one of the things she wonders is, 
she wonders if, if, if she didn't overlook his lechery towards her, e even though she knew about it, because um, he would send her these really terrible notes, nasty notes, and, and she would read them, and she was like numbed. She would do something else. You know, she'd eat. She'd talk to other people. She'd try not to pay attention to who this person, this other side of this person that she had decided to spend time with. Um, helps, it hurts, but it helps when you're an artist to be single. Because then, whatever you write, nobody can, nobody that close to you can say, are oh, you writing about me? Are oh, you writing about what's going on? Are you thinking about this? you can, you got to stop that. Or, oh, I'm hurt, or I'm this, or I'm that, because, you know, they're not there. So, and, and earlier in my life, when there was somebody there, I would, I would worry about that. You know, oh, I can't say this. I can't investigate this area, because that's not, you might not like that. And uh, so, uh, but it, it, you know, or else you find somebody who, you know, doesn't mind. But, you know, who's that? Uh, so um, it's <laughs> that's a good point. So uh, so um, so uh, so so you know Gretel, this character Gretel, she she's played possum a lot. You know she's 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 um, she's she's tried sort of to blend into the wall because she's she's scared a lot of the time, and and so she has very little maneuvering room and. And, and I think that's how she's, in a way, she's been used as, you know, I said before, as this cutesy character. She's kind of like a, uh, um, she's like, like a panacea character. Uh, she, and, and you can assume that she's relatively un, unhidden, untwisted, it, because she's so young. But, you know, kids are even not untwisted. And, um, um, and, and she, you know, it can be like used in polite conversation if you wanted to bring this up. Um, um, but of course, I'm I'm interested. What's underneath the politeness? Mm -hmm. 